Hi, this is Pratima from Planet Physiology. In the first part of color vision, we have studied theories of color vision, how color signals are processed, how illumination and background color affects color perception and significance of color vision. Today we shall learn clinical aspects related to the color vision that is abnormalities of color vision and test for color vision. Now let us study abnormalities of color vision. Based on the type of defect, color vision abnormalities can be of two types, color weakness and color blindness. In case of color weakness, any type of cone is functionally weak and hence cannot transmit signals properly. In case of color blindness, there is absence of a particular type of cone and hence person cannot perceive that particular color. So let us study these abnormalities in detail. First is color weakness. So in case of color weakness, all three types of cones are present in the retina. That is, these persons are trichromats. But the spectral sensitivity of any one type of cone is altered. And as a result, that particular cone cannot function normally. Depending upon the type of abnormal cone, Color weakness is further subclassified as follows. First is protanomaly, that is red color weakness. How to remember this word? So in this word there are two parts. Prot is for red color and anomaly for abnormal. That is red cones are abnormal. So these persons are less sensitive to red color as red cones are weak. If the person has green cone weakness, it is termed as deuteranomaly, where deuter is for green and anomaly is abnormal. So deuteranomaly is green color weakness. These persons are less sensitive to green light. Now if the person has blue color weakness, the clinical term used is tritanomaly. So here again, trit for blue anomaly for abnormal. So here blue cones are abnormal. So person is less sensitive to blue light. When a particular type of cone is absent in the retina, it results into color blindness. Now depending upon the number of cone types that are absent, color blindness is further subdivided into two, dichromates and monochromates. In dichromates, Person has only two types of cones, that is one type is absent. Whereas in monochromates, only one type of cone is present and usually only blue cones are present, red and green cones are absent. They see everything in shades of grey and monochromatism is very rare condition. Now let us study details about dichromates. Based on the type of deficient cone, dichromates are further subdivided into three types. First is protanopia. Here also the word prot is for red. Anopia means blindness. So there is red color blindness. So in this case, red cones are absent. Patient's visual spectrum is shortened towards long wavelengths. Because red cones are absent, visual spectrum ranges only from blue to green. Similarly, in deuteranopia, green cones are absent and a person suffers from green color blindness. His width of visual spectrum remains same because green spectrum is in the middle. The third type of color blindness is titanopia, that is blue color blindness. In this case, blue cones are absent. And a person is unable to see blue color. His visual spectrum is also shortened but towards the smaller wavelengths. These people cannot discriminate between blue and yellow colors. In general, prevalence of red-green color abnormalities is higher as these abnormalities are transmitted as X-linked recessive disorders. Whereas blue color abnormalities are rare as they are autosomal in nature. So let us throw some light on details of these aspects. 
as red green abnormalities are transmitted as x linked recessive disorder their incidence is more in males females with color vision abnormalities is possible but it is rare as they have two x chromosomes and both these x chromosomes should carry the defective trait to exhibit color vision abnormalities so it is rare in females so usually females act as carrier for the trait Incidence of color vision abnormalities is more in European population, which is about eight percent. Out of this eight percent, six percent males are color weak, that is, they show color weakness, and two percent are color blind. In other populations, incidence is just about five percent. Abnormalities of blue color are very rare and are not associated with gender because gene. For blue cone is located on autosome to be specific chromosome number seven. Now let us study how to test color vision of a particular person. So test for color vision. A very common and most widely used test is Ischiara test type. It is a series of color plates. Each plate has numbers or lines printed in color dots. on a background of confusing color dots as you can see in this picture subject is asked to identify the number or trace the line and based on the responses the diagnosis is made for example in this plate a normal person sees number 42 if person is protano that is red color blind person will read the same plate as 2 and deuterno that is the green blind person will read same plate as 4 in some of the plates there is no pattern or no line visible to normal person as you can see in this second plate but a color blind or a color weak person may see a number or a pattern in this plate thus by observing responses to various plates exact type of abnormality can be found out details about how to test color vision abnormalities is demonstrated in my another video clinical examination of second cranial nerve and the link for the same is provided in the description box below the second test which is again very simple test to test the color vision is holmgren's wool test here the subject has to match the exact color of wool in his set with that of examiners the last test is by using edridge green lantern it is electrically operated instrument which can simulate various weather and atmospheric conditions and the subject has to identify different colors displayed through this particular aperture under various situations so this is the most accurate test for testing color vision okay as we have completed the topic let us test the knowledge by solving some mcqs primary colors for color vision are a red green and blue b red yellow and blue c red yellow and green d blue green and yellow the most accepted theory of color vision is a herring's b granets c young helmonts d polychromatic for human eye visible spectrum of the light ranges between dash nanometers 380 to 750 380 to 900 450 to 750 and 450 to 900 which of the following indicates red color weakness a protanopia b deuteranomaly c tritanomaly d protanomaly which term indicates green color blindness A. Protanopia. B. Deuteranomaly. C. Deuteranopia. D. Protanomaly. Next question. Following statements are true for monochromats except A. They have only red cones. B. Their visual spectrum is very narrow. C. They see only shades of grey. And D. It is very rare condition. and the last question which is the best test to detect color vision abnormalities a ischiara test type 
डी होलग्रंस वोल्टेस सी एड्रिच ग्रीन लैंडकन टेस्ट एंड डी स्नेल टेस्ट सो हियर वी फिनिश विद द टॉपिक ऑफ कलर विजन थैंक यू If you enjoy my presentations press the like button and share it with your friends for more such videos subscribe my channel and click the bell icon thank you for watching and see you in the next video